Hi Rockford fifth grade distance learners. My name is Miss O. I am your science teacher for this year um, and the purpose of this video is just to kind of get you started with distance learning. Um, I want to make sure that you show up to your first class on time but before we get to that I just want to say on behalf of the whole fifth grade team we are so excited to get to know you get to see your hard work throughout the year and just have fun together virtually of course um, so we are really excited but we want to make sure we start out on the right foot and I want to make sure that you know where to go and you're not too worried about anything so here we go first thing when you open up your browser is you might go to Google you want to make sure to sign in to your Rockford account. Now your Rockford account is very similar to last year, uh, but there is one small difference. Your small difference is that it's no longer at rockford.k12.mn.us. It's at, stud at 883student.org. And I'll put a little flash up there so you can see it written down at 883student.org. Uh, still last name, first name, same password, nothing else has changed. Once you log into Google, you are going to want to go to Google Classroom. The way you can do that is you can type in classroom.google.com. This will bring you to your Google Classroom page. This is going to be a very important page for you throughout the school year. Mrs. Reek later this week or maybe next week is going to show you how to make bookmarks. They're pretty easy. Um, on some computers, you can just click this star right here to bookmark this page. Then, as you can see, I have my classroom bookmarked here because I go here a lot. So it's a place I want to bookmark. When you open up your Google Classroom page, you are going to see what we call invitations. Us as distance learning teachers, we have invited you to our Google Classroom pages. You are going to want to join our Google Classrooms. As you can see here, I had Mrs. Reek add me as a student for distance learning. So you will also see an invitation from Mrs. Reek that says five social DL. All you need to do is click join. I'm joining. Beautiful. Then it pops up. Google Classroom is where we are going to put out all of the information for you, whether it is videos, whether it's homework assignments, whether it's links to fun activities or things like that. Um, we often have announcements and things updated in the stream, but really this classwork tab is where most of your assignments and things are going to live. So you're going to want to click on classwork. Now here under the classwork tab, you see Google Meet and Google Meet link. When you click on the Google Meet link, you can see that uh, we have posted our schedules for when you have required live lessons and when you have optional office hours with us as teachers. So your first day of school is Tuesday. Tuesday means that you have an optional office hour with Mrs. Reek from 8 o'clock to 820. The way that you join this office hour is just to click this video meeting link. When you click this link, Meet will pop up. It will get ready to join. And once this loads, you will have the option uh, to mute your microphone by pressing this button here um, and to turn off your camera by pressing this button here. But us as teachers, we want to see your face. So if you're comfortable, we really encourage you to keep your camera on. Um, if there are a lot of students in the Meet, if it's a full live lesson, then you're going to want to mute your microphone. And then you simply just click Join Now. So that's pretty easy. That's how you get to your first office hour with Mrs. Reek if you would like to join that. Now, you don't have to go to office hours. Those are optional. Your first required live lesson on Tuesday is writing. So I will also send this out as an attachment so you can have this. Um, but your fifth grade learning schedule, I highlighted which days you have live lessons and which days you have office hours for each class. Notice each class is only 20 minutes long. So on Tuesday, your first day of school, you have optional office hours for social studies, for language arts, and for math. Then you do have a break time for lunch. Your first required live lesson is with writing with Mrs. Beattie. So she will also send you an invitation to her classroom. You do the same exact thing. You press join. Then you go to the Google Meet link, and you are able to join in the Google Meet there. Notice it starts at 12 o'clock. So I suggest you start logging in and making sure you join your meet and making sure that you join the classroom a little bit beforehand. It's a good idea to get to meets and your required live lessons a couple minutes early. 
20 minutes is going to go by really fast. And since these are required, we want you to be there on time. I know it's exciting to be on the first day of school. So if you want to join your office hours to just even see your teacher's faces, to get to meet them, to get to know them, please join in the office hours for social studies at 8 o'clock, language arts at 9 o'clock, and for math at 9 o'clock. We're really excited to get to meet you. So that's how you join a class. That's how you join a Google Meet. Um, hopefully it's all um, something you may have seen before. Now, something you haven't seen before is how to do attendance virtually. Now, this is something you're going to need to do every single day for every single class, whether you have office hours or a live class. You still need to be present on Infinite Campus for all six of your classes every day. Good thing that this is a really easy process. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to go to the Rockford homepage. I have a bookmarked here as well because I use that page a lot. Um, once you get here, you're going to want to go to resources. And you are a student, so you're going to click on students. From here, you're going to scroll down a little bit to your infinite campus portal. When you open this up, you're going to enter in your username and your password. Again, this is the same as it is with any of your Rockford logins. So last name, first name, and the same password you normally have. All right, as you start to log in, you're going to use your regular username and password, like I just stated, for your account. So as you log in with your username and password, you are going to see your student information in the top left corner here. You are going to see that you are virtual that day. You will be virtual every day. Um, so you will um, then see your schedule on the right hand below. This, under check-ins, is where you will do your attendance. You'll see all of your classes listed there, um, and you will need to check into each class prior to 3 o'clock p.m. I know this video that, um, that the screenshot that I'm showing you right now says 12 o'clock, but yours is 3 p.m. So all you need to do is click on your class, and then you click on the blue button that says, yes, I'm here. That's it. In the top right corner, as soon as you click, yes, I'm here, it will say check in saved. So that will show you that you've checked in for that class for that day. Now, I recommend that you follow your schedule, like that's laid out in the one I just showed you, um, to make sure that you're checking into each class. But if you forget, you have until 3 o'clock. So make sure you check in before 3 p.m. every day for each one of your classes. All right, I just want to end with a couple tips about distance learning. So last spring, we really found that students were successful when they woke up at a regular time before your first class at 8 o'clock. Um, they, they put on clothes that they would normally wear to school, so not your pajamas. Um, we found that they were most successful when they would, they would work in a space that was relatively quiet, um, relatively private, um, but make sure you're still in like either your bedroom or your living room, some kind of public space, um, not the bathroom. So um, we just wanted to make sure that you follow your schedule. So again, it does look like you do have some office hours first, because again, your first day is Tuesday, you have office hours for the first couple hours, um, but you can attend those to meet those teachers, to say hello and just introduce yourselves where we want to get to know you. And But then your live classes, your required classes are this afternoon on Tuesday. Um, some other kind of tips and tricks is just to make sure that you are on time for those live classes. Get there a couple minutes early. It takes a couple minutes to log in and get there. Um, ask a lot of questions and also to use your planner. We're going to have an online planner um, where every day you can write in your learning target, you can write in your homework, and to really make a schedule for yourself. What do you need to get done that day? And kind of work through social studies, then language arts, math, writing, band, or FIED, um, and then science. So making sure that you work through your schedule. Lastly, you'll notice that these classes are only 20 minutes long. You should only be really sitting at your computer for probably a half hour at a time. Then I know I need a little bit of a movement break, so I'm sure you do too. So get up, stretch, um, go outside and play for a couple minutes, um, walk the dog if you have one. Um, really get outside and kind of move your, uh, move your body, uh, take a mind break, and really just kind of reset for your next live class. So please, please, please reach out when you have questions. That's what we're here for. The best way to get at us um, is through either the office hours or the live because we'll see you, you know, four days a week if you choose to do that. Um, so we hope to really see you soon. Definitely, we'll see you on Tuesday if you, well, I'll see you because you have science at two o'clock. So we'll see you then. Um, again, reach out if you have questions. Bye.